Pleased today to introduce our second Spotlight Session speaker, Mr. Stephen Trainer, who is the Chief Business Officer at the Federal Home Loan Bank of San Francisco. He has served the Federal Home Loan Bank in, of San Francisco, which is one of the premier federal housing finance banks in the nation, for over two decades. Under his leadership, the Federal Home Loan Bank has expanded its low-cost funding and support services to allow member financial institutions to best make home mortgages to support all neighborhoods and communities. We look forward to hearing how Stephen and the Federal Home Loan Bank are working to increase access to funding for affordable housing and economic development. It was such a pleasure to speak with him a few minutes ago outside as we were waiting to come on. I think you're in for a treat. He's so knowledgeable and so engaging. Thank you, Stephen. Good morning, and thank you, David, for the kind introduction. And let me also thank Mary Leslie of LABC for hosting us here today. I'm honored to be here with you this morning, and while this is my first mayoral summit, the bank has been a proud sponsor of the summit for about 10 years. Federal Home Loan Bank of San Francisco, with $106 billion in assets, has 335 member institutions located in California, Arizona, and Nevada. I see some of our members in the audience here today, and also Kevin Murray, one of our board members. Everyone else may not be familiar with the bank, so I'm going to give you an overview of what our mission is. Our public affairs team likes to say we're the biggest bank you've never heard of. And to complicate matters even more, our name is a bit of a misnomer. We're not federal, we're privately owned by our members. We don't originate home loans, and we're not a bank in the traditional sense since we don't take deposits. The only accurate thing is really that we're headquartered in San Francisco. Thank you. What we do at the bank is promote housing, home ownership, and community economic development. And we do that through our access to the global capital markets. We provide low-cost loans to our member institutions so they can make mortgages, small business loans, commercial real estate loans, and other credit. This capital helps provide the fuel for economic development in every community that we serve. And our members include banks, credit unions, industrial loan companies, savings institutions, insurance companies, and community development financial institutions. We're going to play a short video that explains uh, exactly how that works with one of our members right here in Los Angeles. sort of entrance into institutions like Broadway that happened back in 1988. I was asked to come in and turn founders around, it was in trouble. Then I was asked to turn family around, it was in trouble. And then I've been asked to turn um, Broadway around when it was in trouble. That just was an unintended uh, career path, but it ended up being my career. And in each case, I sort of had to find a solution for their problems. And so I looked around for a need, and then looked around for an area that um, you could survive in and not be crushed by the larger institutions. I have a very, very good relationship with the Federal Home Loan Bank of San Francisco. Um, I've been working with them since maybe about 1989, so it's been a long time. Broadway started, I think, in 1946. So it's probably about 73 years old. And it was started basically by a group of black investors because during those times, uh, blacks were not allowed to live in certain parts of the city, primarily west of downtown LA. And that was accomplished by just basically not uh, lending to blacks. So they formed their own bank. Over the years, at least under my tenure, that has changed somewhat. And so I'm not as focused on uh, ethnicity as my guiding light, although that's still the principal image that people have of the bank. So we are thought of and referred to as the black institution, and I am black. 
pretty obviously so, um, but I focus on the low to moderate. So I'm a very income focused person. I want to serve the working poor and that's our clientele. Our product is very, very specific. Uh, we, we only finance situations where, for example, all deferred maintenance is taken care of and the property is brought up to a very good living standards or we won't fund the deal. So uh, small multifamily units, 5 to 25, and C-type buildings, which is sort of your average building in a fairly average neighborhood. And it's pretty uh, much the form of uh, living in Southern California because affordability is such, a, such an issue. We basically borrow on a short-term basis from the bank, fund those loans, and then when we sell those loans within 30 to 60 days, we pay it off. If we didn't have access to the bank's line and that credit availability, we li literally would be out of business. Our drivers are that finding housing in Los Angeles is a profound, dire need. And getting up every day and being a champion for people working hard, trying to find a decent space to live in uh, is like a religious calling for us. And so myself and my entire team actually are assembled around that cause. So we have a sense of pride that... I want to recognize Wayne Bradshaw, the CEO of Broadway Federal, who's here with us today. As you can see from the video, our core mission supports community banks like Broadway Federal and large institutions as well. And we provide them liquidity that allows them to lend more. Since the first focus on this summit is housing, let me explain what we do to support affordable housing. We contribute 10% of our income to provide grants to create affordable housing to lower income households and individuals. We get expert advice on this from folks like Ann and Doug on the last panel. This year we awarded $51 million in affordable housing program rental housing grants and since its inception since 1990, the bank has awarded over $1.1 billion to affordable housing developers like Doug at Mercy Housing, creating over 140,000 units of quality affordable housing that almost 300,000 folks call home. We also provided $9.3 million in home ownership down payment assistance this year. Working with our member institutions like Broadway, the program is designed for lower income households to receive a matching grant of up to $22,000 for down payment or matching assist, down payment and closing cost assistance. Here in the City of Angels, the bank has 152 member institutions operating 386 branches. These members have pledged more than $8 billion in collateral to us from the county to the bank to support additional lending activity. In total, our privately funded affordable housing program grants awarded in LA have reached over $211 million, helping to develop almost 30,000 units of quality affordable housing, including projects in Skid Row. We have another program called AHEAD. AHEAD grants are made to bank members working with local community groups to provide funding for targeted economic development projects. And that leads us to basically a, a, a sea change in what we decided to do. So while bank grants are important, we felt there was an opportunity to do more. In order to identify how our investments could make a broader, more long-term impact, we hosted a series of roundtable discussions that found ways to increase the availability of well-paid long-term jobs from companies that provide intensive training and skill development for their workers or that was, pardon me, and that could make home ownership a viable option for underemployed residents. This served as a blueprint for creation of the groundbreaking Quality Jobs Fund. Federal Home Loan Bank of San Francisco donated $100 million to this effort. The Quality Jobs Fund invests in small, innovative businesses with a track record of consistent growth and job creation, and also training organizations for which there's a quality job waiting at the end and not just a certificate. Quality jobs create stable, thriving communities where people want to live and raise their families. It's simple, if people don't make enough money, they can't buy a home. 
We selected the New World Foundation to manage our donor advised fund. With their experience in targeting smart philanthropic investments, we expect New World to make about 24 program investments that meet very strict criteria and that will advance the field of knowledge about what it takes to create a quality job. And just last week, New World presented lessons learned from the Quality Jobs Fund to the California Future of Work Commission. As a result, the chairman of the commission, California Secretary of Labor, Julie Su, mentioned they would like the state of California to replicate the Quality Jobs Fund. And one local example of the jobs created by the fund is LA Federation of Labor, ALCIO. They received a $4.9 million grant to expand a pilot construction pre-apprenticeship program developed by the Miguel Contreras Foundation, and that will employ the formerly incarcerated. These jobs offer a living wage for full-time employees, medical and dental insurance, and retirement benefits. Another local company the Quality Jobs Fund supported is Homeboy Industries with a $5 million grant. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about the Federal Home Bank of San Francisco and how working through our members, we help meet the housing and economic development needs of the communities we serve. The bank thanks Mary Leslie and her team at LABC for their leadership in addressing the challenges in housing, transportation, and job creation. And in closing, we look forward to working with you as solutions are developed today. And working with our member institutions, we will continue to provide the fuel of economic activity, capital. Thank you very much. Let's give one more round of applause to Stephen Trainer. Now please welcome Michael Rosenfeld, CEO of Woodridge Capital Partners.